Nightline Now. UCF Sports News. You need to know now. Trace Trelco, Nightline Now. Nightline's countdown to the Gasparilla Bowl continues. UCF finished 9-3 and three during the regular season. A win over Marshall on Monday would make this a 10-win season. Redshirt junior linebacker Eric Mitchell says getting that 10th win is important. It's going to mean a lot. Like Coach Hype say, we're leaving a legacy and we also starting a legacy for next year. So I feel like getting this win is going to help us for next year. Do you guys feel hungry this week? Of course. This yeah, yeah. We came out there. Great energy. Lots of energy we had in like a few times. Like great energy. We can't wait to play. Redshirt sophomore offensive lineman Cole Schneider says the Knights aren't taking the 8-4 and four thundering herd lightly. At the end of the day, it's two teams playing on one field. Like it's, it's like the records. Honestly, the records don't matter to me. It's you know, it's whoever wants the most that day. So I feel like, especially um, taking uh, three losses in the road, and uh, them also having a coach who's six and zero in bowl, and also they have about thirty guys from Florida. So they're really going to bring the intensity. So it's I think it's going to be a really uh, a really good matchup, and uh, can't wait to see the end result. The team is scheduled to practice Friday with a community service project to follow. Another practice is slated for Saturday, followed by a beach invasion on Treasure Island. Stay with the Nightline Sports Network as you get ready for Monday's game. Join the conversation with us on social media, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at UCF underscore Nightline. And we're talking about UCF versus Marshall twice on Sunday. Join Andrew Fagley on ESPN 580 from 9 to 10 a.m. for Nightline the morning after. And then Andrew and I will get together at the 1148 studios for Nightline number 216, which drops Sunday night. Trace Trolko, Nightline Now. Every child in Central Florida deserves a toy at Christmas. But unfortunately, not every local family can provide that Christmas cheer. Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida is once again teaming with local businesses for their annual toy drive, and we need you. For years now, Hearts Helping Others of Central Florida has supported local Central Florida families in need with many programs, providing food, clothing, resources, and services. They do this regardless of the income bracket of the family, because every family could be just one paycheck away from financial disaster. During the holidays, things can be even worse for these families in need. For the next two weeks, you can drop off new unwrapped toys for ages newborn through 17 years old at one of our many drop-off locations. These include... Five Day Cabinets in Castleberry, O'Reilly Auto Parts in Apopka, Stefano's Restaurant in Winter Springs, Shovelhead Lounge in Longwood, and First Institute in College Park. The Toy Drive supports local families that may need a little help at this time of the year, and you, our Central Florida residents and local businesses, have a chance to provide the toys Hearts Helping Others will give away in its holiday support program this month. You can also donate financially through their website at heartshelpingotherscfl.com. Become a donor for the holidays or a monthly partner. Find us on Facebook or PayPal at heartshelpingothers7 at gmail.com. Hearts Helping Others. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. 